It's not that I forgot my password or something. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't have slides today. Great improvement. And no cue card, no iPad. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Okay, so today I'll be talking about expectations. So I'm sure everybody has different uh, definitions of expectations. And to me, I feel like uh, expectations is really broad. Sometimes we think of uh, expectations from our parents, from our bosses, our colleagues, our friends, our relatives, and anybody. Okay? But I feel like the biggest expectations always, always comes from yourself. And for me, is that uh, I feel that I always have a lot of expectations for myself. I always put myself in like a position where, you know, hey, I gotta be really, really good at this. If not, might as well not do it. And then I end up not doing anything. Maybe that's why right, procrastination, the last chapter meeting. Uh, and uh, expectation is, has always been bugging me all my life. So actually, ironically, I feel that expectations from yourself, why is it so big and all this ambitious expectations? It's because of people around you. People around you, they put expectations on you, uh, it all accumulates and then it all becomes expectations of yourself. So for me, since young, uh, as a kid, I was kind of like the only boy in, in my family. Uh, you know, my mom, my grandma, my sister, a lot of women. So I'm like the only guy. And being in a very traditional family, Chinese family, my grandma was like the, you know, the, the very traditional old Chinese lady that favored, favors boys over girls a lot. So you can imagine the kind of expectations. She's like, oh, you know, everybody keeps praising you, wanting you to be like the, the best guy, you know, the best boy in the world. Uh, say, oh, you're very handsome, or hey, you're very smart, uh, and stuff like that. So I enjoyed getting praises. I, I actually liked it a lot. And I felt that that actually uh, made, made me feel like I want to do well in life. So in, in primary school, I actually did very well, you know, my studies. Okay, I'm not saying like, like, like 300 points PSLE, but I, I was doing very well in primary school. I was like the smart boy, you know, and I, I, I still enjoyed it until I realized, like towards the later part of my life, that there was one reason why I enjoyed being praised so much. It's because I like to be in a position where it's uh, I'm better than others, and and I like to see people being worse off than me. Okay, I know that's really twisted. Okay, but <laughs> hold on, okay, that's really twisted. But that's kind of like my perspective on it, and. Uh, towards my teenage years, I really tried to change that thinking because come on, this is so screwed up, right? Like, I, I, I enjoyed seeing others being worse off. So I, I, I really wanted to be very good for that reason. So I, I said, hey, you know, I need to change. That's not the way to go. So I started thinking, why, why is that so? And I realized it's because of expectations. A lot of people have expectations of me, you know, my, my mom's always telling me like, uh, you know, to study, and my grandmother is always telling me I need to study. People around me, in, in fact, everybody wants me to be very good. So I, I felt a little bit of a pressure, you know. And I was like the youngest boy. Uh, although they, they always say they dote on the youngest boy, but I always had the mentality that I had to do well because they dote on me so much. So I, I was under a lot of stress, and, and then towards my teenagers, I realized, like, hey, you know, screw this. I'm just gonna be myself, be me, screw all the expectations. And I really changed. And I felt good. It was a very, very good release. And I realized in general, I just started thinking. I stopped the thinking of, you know, people has to be worse off than me. And it really helped me to progress as a person. Even up till now, I'm kind of like half a working adult. I still feel that, uh, you know, I, I don't really have to live up to everybody's expectations. Be it my boss, be it my colleagues, be it my friends, my, you know, everybody, my parents. And I think it has really started to uh, even grow in my family. My family doesn't really expect so much of me. They don't always say like, hey, you know, you gotta be this, gotta be that and stuff. I actually, in general, my family hasn't been really that, uh, you know, strict in saying, you know, you gotta be a doctor and lawyer and stuff. But because, like I said, they doted on me so much, I always felt that compelling reason that I had to be really, really good. And so, why, why, why would I be talk, talking to you guys about expectations and why I was such a screwed up kid, twisted and everything, you know, want to see me worse off. And it's actually because I realized in this day and age, everybody has a lot of expectations for themselves. I always feel like we, because we want to be the best, you know, I'm going to earn a lot of money, I'm going to buy big houses, big cars. We always lose sight of who we actually are 
and uh, what we actually really love to do. So today, I just want you guys to, uh, if you have any expectations and really, really heavy expectations of, of yourself and you're feeling stressed out about it, just relax and don't, don't expect so much of yourself and go and live your life. Don't let others be, uh, uh, give expectations of you. Just set your own expectations and live with it. Thank you.